let's go see our analyze right here we got nine i think 880 all right let's do that want to get into okay 880 we are in on google let's just watch this and uh, see how it goes i'm going to put uh, the market watch back and uh, let's just see what we are okay so yeah we're just we're just a little flat over here okay that bar was over but it may not be all selling even though it's a red bar because the volume is not that great so let's see how this bar fares anyway we are in the trade and uh, i think we should be somewhat neutral still so okay google seems to be going down let's see how our position is doing up about 277 dollars so let's leave it at that come right back let's just watch it some more so right now you can see the s p and google are diverging and uh, so what that's what that's telling you is the s p wants to go up but google is weak however if the s p wants to go up then at some point google will catch up with the s p and it will also want to go up so if that's the case then you want to get out of the trade even if it's a small profit that's okay but you don't want to uh, when there is a mismatch here uh, then uh, you don't want to be in the trade for too long so right now where i don't know where we are we are about 168 as you can see we are losing we are giving up some profit that's okay you don't want to get uh, uh, too caught up in the getting in and getting out but uh, you know let's just see if we get a decent profit on google because it's diverging uh, we may want to take it off Let's see. So we'll just hold off, uh, hold on to this trade, and uh, let's see how it goes. It's definitely getting weaker now on the S&P and Google, so we should be okay on the trade. Let's just do a quick check where we are. We are up about 260. Not bad. Showing more weakness. Let's see where we are. 336. Not too bad. Google is also wanting to move up, so might as well take one off. Okay, there we go so now uh, we are up 300 but uh, open is up 147 so we are up 307 for the day so let's let this other one contract run see if we can make some more but at least we've captured about uh, 100 and uh, i would say about 180 bucks or 160 bucks or something like that now it's gone to 1049 now you can see smp wants to move up but google is still weak however there's a diver uh, divergence there but as long as google is going down we are still in the trade so let's see what our profit is 371 not bad at all yeah you can see the divergence happening i'm going to take it off 350 340 whatever it is let's take it off at 1050 and close the trade okay all right the trade is closed the smp wants to move up so we are up 330 on google but basically the whole goal is with this day trading scenario you don't want to put a whole lot of contracts and uh, the way i i'm i'm suggesting is on a daily basis and of course each person is different everyone's account is different but on a two contract three contract position if you can make about 300 350 400 bucks on a trade that's not bad at all and uh, if you have a much larger account uh, feel free to put five contracts uh, but uh, you know so it all depends that's an individual case you should not follow my contracts you should follow contracts according to your account so now see the SP is moving up and Google is also recovering. So I think we did a good thing. So I'm going to pause it here, take a break, and uh, let's just see what the sentiment is. If uh, the SP is indeed uh, wants to go up, then uh, we might want to look for a call trade, but it's not there yet. We still have very bearish uh, situation and a lot of neutrals. And so uh, if we want to take a call trade, I would at least want to see the ES go from neutral to bullish, if not very bullish. In that case, that would give us some confidence to uh, take something on the call side. But, you know, we just had a trade. So, you know, don't force trades. This is, uh, you know, this is really the key. And if Tesla is down, Sai, don't take the trade because it's not correlating with the S&P. So that uh, that trade can get into trouble. So now you can see the breadth of the market changing a little bit. So this is what I mean. So now we have much more of the very bullish than the very bearish. And we have, uh, you know, a lot of it is neutral. So the sentiment of the market is changing from a very bearish mode to a much more neutral mode and this is what i mean and so the the more you see this kind of transition happening you can see you 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 realize that the sentiment of the market is changing of course it remains to be seen whether it can sustain this but at least for now at this point uh, you can see the sentiment changing there you know we are seeing much more of the very bullish uh, kind of candidates there but you know it, there's still no trade at this point uh, both Amazon and ES are neutral and but Amazon is correlating well so I'm going to keep the charts on Amazon okay folks uh, looks like we could have a little trade on Amazon looking good 
uh, moving average also and you can see it's moved into bullish okay and so now we have everything in the very bullish category we might have a trade i want to be very safe i don't want to go too i don't want to go too heavy just one contract perhaps and uh, these deltas are not enough so i'm going to put about 40 strikes here uh, just not pay not pay a whole lot okay so 1632 so i would say like a 32 31 delta something like that 1670 let's do that all right so one contract one contract i'm going to keep it ready 1480 is the mid so one contract would be about 14 uh, 1470 dollars 1465 let's get in 1465 okay got in 14.55 so let's see where we are we have more bullish and uh, we have a slightly more uh, set of very bullish as well so it's looking good okay moving up nicely on amazon let's see what we have uh, we've got 142 over there 145 i'm gonna take it off that's it i'm happy with uh, you know whatever uh, 200 dollars uh, profit that we have on the trade and that's it and so 200, uh, I, I, let's see what it is, 235. That's it, 565, guys. Uh, so that's good. That's good. So I think we are going to uh, just uh, wrap it up here for the day. You know, and you can see the S&P is also showing some weakness. Amazon came down from 1640. So, all right, folks. So I'm going to keep the screens on. You know, you guys can uh, continue to chat and uh, discuss the trades, but I'll be in and out and I'll probably jump on the chat session at some point. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. So if you want a free trial of this day trading signal service, you can go to this bit.ly link. It's bit.ly uh, slash day hyphen signals. Now the day and the, uh, the D and the S has to be capitals. And once you go there, you can get a free trial. You can, you'll need to sign up there and you'll get a free trial. And uh, at the end of one week, if you don't want to continue, you can just send us an email at info at option and we'll give you a full refund. So once again, the bit.ly link is bit.ly slash day hyphen signals with the DNS in caps. Thank you.